House music. It's classic. Some some mix. Some deep house mix. Life was listening to it. Like that. I mean, hey look. It's gonna be noise because we're in the afternoon right now. Wife's cooking in the kitchen, the kids are coming home from school or whatever they're doing yes. in the neighborhood, blah blah blah. Yes, daddy. So uh, what I've been doing lately, not what I've been doing lately, but I'm getting ready to come to the States. We'll see what happens. Anyway, but I'm watching House of Cards. It, this is uh, season four. House of Cards, volume four. I know Kevin Spacey, blah, 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 blah. Well, y'all get hooked up on that. I'm looking for the information. It's quite interesting. But what I was talking from House of Cards, politicians, and what I found, you know, one when, 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 when of the films that uh, Mrs. Miss Neely Fuller always talks about is uh, is uh, a Godfather's part one and two, Senator. But both of these things, and even American society, I figured it out. Why did I figure it out? Easy, okay, because you know, you're living on the planet. You're supposed to be getting stuff in every day, you know, and you're supposed to get some answers every day and all of this sort of stuff. Well, first of all, I like mango juice to give me answers. Mm. Mango juice gives me a lift for answers. Okay, so you have these answers coming every day. So. Since I have so much time on my hands, I have some podcasts I usually listen to, or you know, some, some stuff I usually listen to on on YouTube. And one of the people I listen to, which I absolutely love, is Fifty One Fifty. You know, Corey Holcomb, Corey Holcomb. <laughs> you know. And uh, anyway, uh, so I've been watching, listening for a while, at least as long as I've been uh, following Yvette and and, and Army and, and all the rest of the, the thing. And uh, but today, or well, this week, they had on uh, they had this ex pimp. Uh, uh, Gorgeous Bo, whatever his name is, uh, uh, X-Pimp was there, uh, uh, Brother uh, Willie D from, you know, the Ghetto Boys, because they, they catch his um, police investigation, so his, his one of his bandmates has passed. Uh, Zoe Williams is usually there, you know, intellectual of the group. Of course, uh, then you got Corey, um, Corey and, um, I mean, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's the name of the name? What's, what's, what's Ice-T's uh, uh, ex-wife's name? It'll come to me. Anyway. So they were on the panel. One of the things they, uh, at least the uh, the ex pimp was talking about, or uh, well, I guess she never, uh, with, the, with the brothers took about manhood or whatever have you. But one of the things, and I think this is an American. That's just an American. This is the whole whole other thing. Is deceit. This is about deceit. <laughs> the Godfather. It's about deceit. Our lives in the street is about deceit. Right? Now, deceit is worse than just lying, you know. Deceit is like intentional, <laughs> you know. You you sort of look at scenarios, you see what's going to happen. You say, "Hey, let me go over that way." So just like you have to, but you have to. You can replace deceit with something else. The problem is most people find deceit a little easier, or just I don't know. Maybe it's a, I don't, it's just easier to do than there's something else that would counter the deceit. You know, um, it's called a truth. Okay, which is why ADOS is so important. Because what do we have? Data and truth. You see, that's how that works out. So anyway, so I've come to uh, anyway. So th th that's the, it for today. Thank you, darling. I appreciate Here's that. Little branch, baby. Okay, baby. Now, is this you meat? said you wanted small. Yeah, but I don't want no. It's too much. That's how I get it. I'll deal with it. Anyway, okay, let me say leave, goodbye to people first. Leave it on the side. Yeah, I'll give it to the doggy. No, I won't. I won't. Anyway, uh, um, so, so the thing is, you know, if, you, if you're if you honest in everything you do, I know it's difficult, then it'll work out best. And ADOS, what I really love about this movement, this reality, it's an honest reality. And you can't come to this with any deceit. That's what is so amazing. I'm just seeing it, if this thing holds, if this thing holds like this. That's all I have to say right now, because I got to eat. A little message from me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, that's the American Descendants of Chattel Slavery.